we are back at Ikea for the basket lights. <laughs> we kind of missed the basket lights, you guys. So we're gonna see if they have them. It says they have them online, so we're really hoping they do. What's funny about Ikea is when we lived in Oregon, the Ikea was like two hours away. We make trips up to Ikea to yeah, go. Just so when we moved to... here, we were like, oh my gosh, there's an Ikea. Uh -huh. I think we've been here twice ever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fingers crossed. Oh, oh that's it. Yes, they have it, you guys. They have it. We're so sorry we ever got rid of you. <laughs> I like the vibe of it. Oh, no. Is that a different? No, it's there, but where is Oh, it's right here. They have like four. Wait, is that smaller? Uh, no, I think it's the same. Okay. All right, well, let's choose the two we want out of the five they you have. You gotta choose them. <laughs> okay. And I can show you guys again how I did this because I just cut out, it has like this metal piece in here and I just snipped that out and let it rest on there. How much are they? $31.99, but when I bought them, they were $19.99. But you know. I feel like, I think you've talked about this. It gives such a, like a. Like a Tulum. Tulum. Yeah. I don't know if boho. Yeah. Just energy. Boho. and. Yeah. Got to pick out the two best ones. Yeah, I think those two. They're the closest in height. And then you got to do a little spin. Make sure. I'm excited to get these back. I've been so. It's not the same walking it's out there and the seeing same. the ones you... It just feels so like cold and uninviting in our space right now. And these just warm it up and just give it a good vibe. <laughs> What's up guys? We are home from Ikea. We actually went and worked out. We went on a walk. Now we're home. You guys know the whole story behind the light fixtures in the kitchen. So I had the basket lights. I wanted to do a little bit of a change and then I did the change and then that day we got rid of the basket light we had the other lights up and we both were like we don't like those <laughs> originally I put them up I was like oh that's a nice change then as they were up I just didn't like them and the lighting when we turned on the lights at night with these up it just wasn't the same vibe the basket lights were just a little bit more of a vibe <laughs> <laughs> to that's the only way I can put it. So I ripped out the lining. I did the whole thing. I've done two videos now. I did the original video where, where they were a little bit more structured. Then I took out the lining where they were a little bit more organic. Still, the, still not liking them. Also, the other thing that's really annoying about them is, hold on, let me grab one. I still haven't secured them. So if Zach accidentally bumps them, they fall down. And then also because this is metal and the piece that it's sitting on is metal, when the person that lives above us is walking around in her apartment, you can kind of hear it, the metal like clinking. It's kind of annoying, but these collapse. So I might go ahead and save these just in case later on I decide to change my mind. But you guys, you, you already know because we vlogged it, but we got the baskets back. We got them back. I'm super excited about it. I feel like they just go with our space a little bit better. I was telling Zach earlier, I was like, I really want our space to feel like, kind of like we're in Mexico, kind of like we're in Italy, kind of like we're in Paris, and then kind of like we're in Arizona. <laughs> so that's just what we're inspired by. And I feel like these really help soften up this space where these just made it feel a little bit more sterile and boring and you know, it's okay. We got them back. We are back <laughs> and I'm really happy about it. So it's kind of a bummer though, because these ones were, they, they went up when I bought them, they were $19 and 99 cents a piece. And these were 30, I think they were like $32, 31 99 or something like that. But what I do is I just cut out this metal rod that's in the center and I put it up there. So I'll show you guys here on the vlog how I do that. It's such a bummer that I had to buy them again, but you know, in design, I feel like ultimately it's just a feeling. And these just did not give us that feeling. So I'm so happy, I'm so, so happy. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get these lights back up. Let's get them back to their original beauty. who did say 
you preferred these. And to those people I say, you were right, you were right. I was just trying to do a little change, but you know, I tried it. Oops, gotta take the light bulb out. And I, I love these ones so much more. And to be honest with you, if we were in the house, I would not, those other light fixtures are not something I would choose. I just, I think I was really craving a change, but ultimately this is the vibe that I love. Okay. This is serious. One thing about me that I actually annoy, annoy myself about is I will purge so quick. Like I will purge before I have the chance to even think if I will ever need that item again. And I think it's just living in a small space. Actually, I've always been that way, no matter how much space we have. I'm always like, nope, it's gotta go. It's taking up space, like whatever. And that's exactly what I did with these lights. I didn't even give myself time to sleep on them. <laughs> like I filmed that video and uploaded it the same day. Like I changed out the light fixtures the same day that we got rid of the baskets. So let's not do that anymore, Bran. Let me know. Are you like that as well? Do you purge so fast that you don't even have time to think about it? That is me. Like I will purge my stuff. Then I'll need it later on and I don't have it anymore. We're back, baby. <laughs> Got our lights back. They look, I like them a lot better. Me too. Especially, I know they were 30 bucks a piece. I know. But for the ease of putting them up and the look it gives. That took no time. Oh yeah, this is like way more us. You know, you have to try things. Speaking of trying things, I want to try something. Okay. They remind me of Belize when we were in Belize. You remember those basket lights? Totally. That we originally saw? I think that's originally where we even got this inspiration from. And they're back. They're a little wobbly or like wonky, but. Like tomorrow you could kind of. Yeah, form them. A little, 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 see how they relax out. Yeah. But they just feel so much better in here. Okay, speaking of. Trying things. Trying things. One of my favorite drinks are Spindrift. I feel like when I hear people talking about them, it's like you either love them or hate them. Yeah. We've tried the spike spin drift on here before, which are all pretty decent. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. But just the non-alcoholic spin drifts, I love all of them. Grapefruit, lime. The pineapple's so good. The pineapple one. At first I didn't like it, and then I had it in Hawaii last time we were there, and I just fell in love with it. Um, there's a bunch of them. Blackberry, the raspberry lime. Over the holidays I had, there's a cranberry raspberry one. I loved it. By the way, it's been a minute since we've like done a vlog like in the kitchen like I know. this. <laughs> but really, it has, it has been a while. Um, hopefully, that's it's fine to do this. Yeah. Okay. So they Spindrift came out with four new flavors at the beginning of this year, and I found them at Target today. I only found three of the four. Oh, okay. Um, so we're gonna try th three of them right now. Other than one of them, the fourth one was the one I wanted to try the most. Oh, I hate which is funny. that, yeah. It was, I think, strawberry peach. It was something like that. Oh. But we have mint green tea, two of them are tea, mango black tea, and then no hito. It's kind of like a play on a mojito, so it's lime and mint. Oh. But obviously these are all non-alcoholic. There are four calories, 11 <coughs> calories, four calories. So My favorite bubbly water is the polar orange vanilla. Which I have. It's my favorite. It just is smooth. Like sometimes with bubbly water, sorry, babe, I cut you off. You're, no, you're, you're about to say something. Sometimes with bubbly water, it's like almost like too carbonated, but this one's my favorite. It has a good flavor. Unlike these, all are zero calories. The spin drifts usually do have anywhere from two to 15 calories. Because they have if, yeah. real fruit juice, right? Yeah. Or like real fresh. But this is your favorite. This yeah. is like your go-to. Go-to. Okay. I want to try the Nohito one because okay. I'm the most curious other than the peach strawberry one. Okay. Well, let's just open them. You want to try which one first? Whatever. Just the Nohito last. Oh, last. Okay. Uh, what should we do? Let's do the mango, mango black tea. Okay. It hit, you get the mango right off the bat, and then the tea. Oh yeah. It's very layered. Yeah, I don't mind it. Would I grab it? Mm, 
I would, this wouldn't be my first choice. I would buy this again though. Yeah. It's you very layered. It's weird. I like mango, then the tea. Most, yeah. Mostly the tea though. I like it though because I love tea, but sometimes it's a little, this kind of cuts it down where it's like you get that yeah. nice blend. The tea ones do have a little bit of caffeine. I forget. A little bit. Obviously they're tea. Um, I forget the strawberry peach one. I don't think it was a tea. I think it was just normal. I bet I would like the strawberry peach. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty good. Decent. I found these all at Target. This, this is mint? mint green tea. I used to love green tea. And the other one was black tea, so. Ooh. That one's very minty. Oh, yeah. A lot of people like flavors like this. I can see them being like, oh, it tastes like toothpaste. Where it's like, oh, oh that's true. That's kind of what mint is, though. Yeah. I can do the toothpaste flavors. The mango's like an eight and a half, and this is probably like a seven out of 10 for me. I probably agree with that. I heard this one too, you can make like a mocktail. Well, it kind of is a mocktail. It's a very mild mojito flavor. Yeah, that's what it is. I like that one. I like this, this is nice to sip on. I wish the mint was stronger. Yeah, I kind of like that it's not because that one's super strong. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like all of them. I like Spindrift though, so yeah, I'm already a fan. I would buy all of these together. I, I don't know if I love the tea ones like to drink on the regular as far as the other ones. Yeah. That being said, I love all of them. I think my favorite right now is the pineapple though. Yeah. What do you think? You like the Polar Pops so yeah, much better. You I'm rarely like the, grab a... Yeah, I never grab a Spindrift, really. Honestly, I should grab them more, but I think the Nojito is my favorite. I think because of the natural flavors, usually like Polar Pop, Waterloo, LaCroix, they're super faint because it's like the flavoring. I like Spindrift because it's like actual fruit in there, so you, it's a hint of it, but you, I it like it. It's, uh, it tastes real. I really like the Nojito. I could see myself pouring that over some ice, maybe putting some tequila. Is a Mojito made with tequila? Or is it, is it, or is it rum? Might be rum. I think mojito is rum. You're gonna let us know, I forget. <laughs> yeah, let us know. What is a mojito made with? I feel like I should know this. I well, like We get confused, oh sorry. Yeah. We get confused because we do different cocktails and we'll yeah. switch it up depending on what we have or what we're mm -hmm. in the mood. Yeah, I'll make an espresso martini with tequila, so. Yeah. And it's good. I think this, with vodka, tequila, rum, whatever it was, this, Taking it to the pool this summer with an like ice, this, and a shot of, yeah, would be very refreshing. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Yeah. It's been a while. We miss you guys. We just haven't had like, we have a ton of little projects that we're wanting to do. We haven't vlogged in a while. No. I think we like took a good little chunk off from vlogging since Vlogmas. But I obviously have done some decor videos. We're gonna have a ton of decor videos this whole year. But we still want to include the vlog. So if you are watching the vlogs, thank you. We love you. I feel like our vlog family, I guess, so to speak, is just the best. We love you guys so much. I feel like you always have the most encouraging words to say to us. And even Zach's like, we haven't vlogged in a while. We need a vlog. Like, <laughs> so it's really cute. We love you guys so much. And we're just excited to spend this year with you and just continue to make videos. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. Anyway, let us know if there's any treats like the Spindrift that we need to try. Let us know what's new with you guys, what's going on. Yeah, I'm all about trying new stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let us know. What do we need to try? Anyway. And we'll work it when we can every once yeah. in a while. I know we don't do vlogs all the time. Yeah, but... we, we wanna vlog more, but it is kind of, I think with the channel, it's like I wanna do home decor so much but we also really enjoy vlogging. And there for a minute, we were thinking like, should we just not vlog anymore and just do home decor? And then we were like, you know what? We like to vlog. We like to share things with you guys. We like to, we feel like you guys are like with us. We were like, no, we're gonna do it. And it's okay if not everyone likes to watch them. Like the people who do, we appreciate you and we love you. And we're, we're the vlogs are still gonna be here. You have a lot of decor stuff coming up. So. Yeah, actually right now I should do the, the frame, but I need to go to the craft store to get the glue. I'm up in the ante on the frame. If you guys remember over Vlogmas, I framed a piece of artwork. Well, 
I'm framing it again. <laughs> Brandy's the best. She's always a, a doer. She just sees it too. Sometimes I'm like, uh, I could do <laughs> no. that. Or if it's building or putting something together, takes a minute or I have to see it. Brandy like sees it. Well, I just, it, it's honestly like the depths of my soul. <laughs> like I just love it so much. But I think that's the thing that's so hard about doing specific videos like home decor is already from the last video that I just did, I just updated. I've already put candlesticks out. I've already changed a couple things. So that's why I like doing the vlogs because I can give these little updates to you guys and really just like talk to you in like a real way where Sometimes those those videos, I'm like, okay, I don't want to forget to say this and this and this. And this, on the vlogs, I can just be me and chill and, you know, talking to my friend, letting you know whatever it is. <laughs> anyway, okay. Okay, so I had an itch to go to the antique store. So I came over to this like tiny little house. I'll show it to you guys when I walk outside. It's so sweet, but I found this little, this is so cool. She said it's not for sale right now because she doesn't have anywhere else to display the sewing machine. But it's cool because this piece folds out and it becomes a little step stool. And she said the top folds up, so it's almost like a little seat. I thought that was so cute. Look at that barrister cabinet. Isn't that beautiful? It's much more shallow than the one that I have and a lot shorter, but that would still be such a cool little bar space. And then this, if you had umbrellas or canes to hold so pretty i also found up here these little candlesticks for 14 dollars. look at they're tiny and then look at that light fixture i love that light fixture up there i think it's so cool so cool this piece too i loved that I really love the this piece here. I just think that the artwork on it is just so sweet. And this is in really good shape. Let's see how much this is, $58. Okay, and then in this little room here, there's just such good little stuff. I love this little store. It's right on Gilbert Road in downtown Gilbert you guys I want it all I love this little piece right here I thought that was really cute she has a lot of brass in here and like she has good tables good wood furniture also look at this for the pair $58 for these little paintings. I thought about getting these. I think they're really sweet. And then here's the other one. How cute are those? I just think this is perfect to go pick your citrus, this little antique basket. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. <gasps> Could you imagine? Oh, I might need this. Look how sweet that is. Just to go get my citrus off the trees in our backyard. Oh my gosh. This is a little kitchen area that they have in the store. As you can see, it's like a tiny little house, you guys. It's so special in here. But this is in the kitchen little area that they have in here. And look, she has some old primitive rolling pins the this is really pretty to put your utensils in just such good little pieces Ooh, and this little model found this little candlestick ignore this piece right here it's not for sale but look how unique that is it's like a little tripod stand how cute I love that this is the little house it's called C&J Antiques and it's this little yellow house isn't that so sweet so if you're ever in downtown Gilbert 
come check them out. They have such cute little antiques in here. And it's just such a cozy little feeling. I would say we were good together.